Welcome, Geminis. I'm back, y'all, with another video. So, yes, it's been a few weeks, but I'm definitely back. I'm definitely back. All right, so this is a general love reading. It may or may not resonate with you. If it happens to resonate, all the better. Go ahead and energetically show this channel some love by clicking the like button as well as sharing with your family and friends and leaving a comment below. All right, so let's talk. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Scorpio. Like, I was just getting ready to say Scorpio for some reason. So some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio or someone who has a Scorpio moon or rising. Or some of you have a Scorpio moon or rising. All right, so tell me uh, what's going on for September for Gemini's, please. Give me a message for Gemini's. Ooh, I hid who I really am from you. Mmm, so somebody is wearing a false mask. Somebody is being fake. I hide behind material things. This person definitely is fake as hell. <coughs> Whoever this person is that you're dealing with, they mask who they really are with material things. Um, they don't want you to see who they really are. They, they're putting on this big ass front. I don't know, that's just, that's a little bit too many cards. Let me just shuffle. This person is very much so like, they, you don't know the real them, for sure. I know I was a distraction from your pain. Yeah, this person is trying to distract you with material things. Like, they're trying to flash material things or different things in front of you, I feel like, to confuse you. Somebody's trying to confuse you, to distract you. I'm not available. I know that I crossed the line with you. I feel you even though we're apart. So this could be somebody that maybe you and this person are in a separation right now. You and this person could be in separation right now, but definitely for sure, for sure, this person is putting on the front, trying to pretend like they're not available, um, but they're only doing that because they know that they crossed the line with you. They don't really want to face you anyway. Like, they don't want you to know the truth about them or a situation, and they're trying to mask. This person is definitely wearing a mask. However, they still feel connected to you because they're saying that they feel you even though you guys are apart. Wow. Okay, so let's get some more information. Let's see what else is going on. We're going to use the Romance Angels here, cards here. And look, Deception and Codependency is, is here at the bottom when I split the deck. Okay, so like I said, this person is definitely wearing a false mask. Someone is wearing a false mask, self-mask in this relationship. They're hiding something. And they have like some type of addiction or they're very, very codependent. Um, there's just something about this person. Like they're hiding something. I just feel like this person is hiding who they are or something about them. It could be an insecurity or something, but... I just feel like this person is hiding. We got religious factors, okay? So you and this person could have come from different backgrounds, believe different things. We got uh, pay attention to the red flags and it is safe for you to love. Like I said, I feel like somebody's trying to get you to let your guard down. <clears throat> I feel like somebody's trying to get you, this person is trying to get you to let your guard down. This is someone from the past. You got past life relationships and there's deception. I'm telling you, they're wearing a false mask. This person is hiding something. They have something to hide. And we got healing family issues. So, yeah, 
they want to come through and heal. They're going to come through saying that they want to heal things. That they want to make things work. But it's something about this person. Like, look, this person legit is has on a mask. Like, you don't know the truth about this person. You don't really know the truth. You don't know all the facts about this person. Something about their belief system, maybe their background, their culture or something, like they don't want you to know about certain things. But I definitely, it's too many red flags here, especially with pay attention to the red flags and deception here. There's a lot of red flags here. I'm going to just say that. But they're definitely wanting to come through and find balance and heal the situation. Something that maybe happened between you two. But there's so many red flags. There's so many things that needs to be looked at and reconsidered. Okay. So let's see what else we can find out. What does Gemini need to know about this person? Something more. What does Gemini need to know about this person? We have the Ten of Cups. The Strength card wanted to come out. A Leo could be involved. What else does Gemini need to know about this person? Thank you. We got the Hangman. And we got the Six of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we got the world here. The Empress and the Six of Wands and the Four of Wands. It's like they have to close a chapter first. Somebody has to close a chapter first. Um, I feel like this person really, really admires you, though. We got the Empress, the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands. Somebody is like a perfect, somebody has their life together, like, it's like the perfect person, but there is a chapter that needs to be closed first. Somebody walked away because this person is too toxic. Okay, the situation got real, real toxic. So one of you guys decided to walk away. Okay, now tell me more about this Ten of Cups energy. The Death card, Scorpio could be involved. They could feel like they don't want to force you into, um, yeah, they're saying, okay, they're saying they know the right thing to do. It could be done with the Libra. It's like they know the best thing to do. Someone here could be uh, not happy in a situation. Um, they're, they're following their intuition on what's the best thing to do. We got the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be involved. Or a Fire Sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But somebody has to figure something out before there's a celebration or a coming back together. Why is the hangman here? <clears throat> Why is the hangman here? Something here is on hold. Yeah. See, somebody's waiting for something to end. They're waiting. Someone here is waiting for some, something to be over. Someone's waiting for a chapter to close. Like, the cycle hasn't completed yet. Somebody, a chapter hasn't completed yet. Someone's waiting for some type of chapter to close, some type of connection or something to end. We got the Five of Swords. There could be someone feels uh, defeated. Okay, this person is waiting on some type of sign from you. This person is definitely hiding something though. But I'm, I'm just getting like they're waiting for some type of sign or signal from you. 
it's like they're in hiding. Like they're, I'm getting a lot of hiding. Someone's hiding something. Yep, look at this. The devil and the hierophant. Someone's hiding their their flaws. Like somebody's hiding that they are really possessive or obsessive. Um, they got this devil like type energy. Could be a Capricorn. We got Taurus's energy here as well, too. Why is the Six of Swords here? It looks like the Emperor could be an Aries or a, or someone older here. Someone's it's like they're wait it's like they're waiting for you to make some type of decision. Yeah, they're looking for you. They're definitely looking for you. They're looking for for uh, you to reach out to hear from you. They want they definitely want to communicate with you, for sure. Yep, the chariot. They want to come. They they are coming towards you. Queen of Swords. There you are. They want to talk about everything. Someone here is sad and depressed. Here, somebody wants to talk about it. talk. Somebody wants to talk. Yes, they want to talk on whether or not do you want to do you want to be single or do you want to be in this connection with me? So it looks like somebody from your past, they've been watching you. They want to reach out to you. Um, they're waiting in the cut. I'm getting like waiting in the cut for something that possibly you have going on to end or something they have going on waiting for that to end and be over with. It looks like they're coming towards you. They're coming, they're coming in strong too. Um, if you try to like distance yourself from them, they are definitely like going to be doing everything that they can to get closer and closer to you. They want to communicate with you because they want you to make some type of choice, some type of decision on whether or not if you want to be single or do you want to do this thing with them again. Let's get some advice. Let's ask the angels for some advice here, and then I'm going to let you guys go. All right, so give me some advice for Gemini. Give me some advice for Gemini, please. We got perfect timing. Okay. Something looks like the right time to take action. It's the perfect time to take some type of action. Oh, then we got not the right time. Okay, so somebody feels like it's a perfect time to take action. Somebody's feeling like, no, it's not the right time. So this, this connection, yeah, this person won't stop coming towards you. Um, this person will not stop coming towards you. They're saying that it's the perfect time. I feel like you're saying that like or right now is not a right, it's not a good time. No need to worry. Okay. No need for you to worry. Okay, somebody here needs to work on their health. We got improving health. Somebody needs to work on their health. Whether it be ment mental, physical, spiritually. Okay, we got let go. Some of y'all are gonna be deciding to let this thing go. But this person is over here saying no. You got somebody over here who does not want to let you go. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It's like they don't care. They still trying to hang on to you. This person is still trying to hang on to you. Like Spirit is saying, let it go. If the timing isn't right, then the timing isn't right. All right? So that's the message that I got for you. You guys, if, you, if this message resonated with you, be sure to leave the thumbs up as well as share with your family and friends as well as comment below. If you're new to the channel, guys, be sure to click the bell to subscribe. You're not going to want to miss out on future videos. All right? So until next time, I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.